Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Let's talk about what you're going to do for your assignment today, okay? So hopefully you're looking at Google Classroom, or you will be. And notice how it says that we're not doing a Zoom, but I will be on Zoom all day if you need any help, okay? So watch this video first. See if you can figure it out and do it on your own, which I'm sure you'll be able to. And just remember, I'm on Zoom if you have any questions. Okay, so you're going to start by going to Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday work. And you should notice the very familiar thing that we saw yesterday. Okay, so you're going to click on it, and you get to the screen that has the apple on it, right? So yesterday, if you were in class or on Zoom, um, we did this together. We did uh, the slide two together, and then we either did stations about Newton's first law if you were in person, or um, if you were in Zoom or remote, you should have watched the tricks on slide four and five, okay? And of course, anybody that was in class that wants to watch any of these videos or wants to watch them again or whatever can absolutely do them. They're right here on slides four and five, okay? Just for a reminder, if you missed Tuesday's class, you need to go back to Google Classroom and click on Tuesday where it says, if you miss class. You're gonna need to complete that simple activity first before you do this. So stop the video and go back to Tuesday. Okay, if you were here on Tuesday and you're ready to go the next thing, let's go back to that apple, okay? So yesterday we talked about Newton's first law and inertia, and basically things are that are at rest wanna stay at rest, things that are in motion are gonna to wanna to stay at motion, and sometimes it's really difficult or weird or um, kind of causes uh, interesting reaction when something that wants to keep moving is not allowed to keep moving anymore or vice versa if it's at rest, right? So what we're going to do today is a pretty simple activity, but I want you to practice telling me what you know about Newton's first law and how you saw it in the stations, okay? So what everybody's going to do, whether you are in school or not, is you're going to go down to slide seven. Okay, and basically, if you look at the other slides, you'll notice they have different labels. So slide eight says inertia, slide nine says gravity, slide 10 says friction, slide 11 says you pick. So you're going to be able to pick inertia, gravity, or friction on this one. Okay, and basically what you're going to do is based on what it says in this corner here, you're going to tell me basically what the station name was or whatever you can just describe like coin drop or elbow catch if you want to and tell me the name of the station and you're gonna, then you're going to tell me how that concept was used. So what you basically have to think of is where was inertia used in the stations we did yesterday, where did you see gravity and where did you see friction? And then whichever one you want to use, you got to think of a second example for inertia, gravity, or friction, okay? So let's say first um, you thought of the coin drop with inertia, okay? This cannot be your example. So I'm giving you this example, but you cannot use it for inertia, okay? So if I go back to the coin drop, if you remember, the coin drop is, is the one where you have a cup, You've got the paper and the coin and you just like flick the paper or you pull it, right? So it looks exactly like this. Well, when I think about that, I think about the fact that that coin is at rest, right? And it's just chilling on top of the paper and on the cup. And, it's, and it wants to stay at rest, right? It has inertia. Um, however, when I flick away the paper or I pull the paper out, the coin doesn't go where the paper goes or it doesn't go all over the place, right? Or fly out of the way. All it does is just drop down, and that's because it wants to stay at rest. But since there's not a paper under it anymore, gravity just brings it down. So what I have to do is explain how inertia works in that. So here's the example I did. And what you first want to do again is describe what that station was called or give some a name. If you can't remember, go back to some of these, and that might help you out. Okay? So it was the coin drop that I did, so I typed that in there. Okay, then it says in the station's activity, the coin drop. So I type the name in it. Then it says the concept of inertia was shown when here's where I'm going to turn or I'm going to put in my description and see how it says describe what happened. So if I look down at the next one, it says inertia in the station's activity called and you're going to type in another station. Okay, and then you're going to tell me another area where inertia happened. You're going to type it in. Okay, so you're going to do it just like me. So let's show the rest of the example here. I said inertia was shown in the coin drop, and here's what I described. I said the coins were stacked on the dollar bill, or that was what it was online. You could say paper for school. 
The coins were at rest and wanted to stay at rest. So when you pull the paper out from under it, they didn't slide and go the direction of the card, but just fell straightly down or just uh, fell directly straight down the center of cup. They wanted to stay at rest. Whoops. So when the paper was removed, they just fell straight down. Okay, so do you see how I explained inertia by talking about at rest and wanting to stay at rest, and I explained the activity. So here's a clue. I kind of put some, um, some reminders up here. So first, you want to think about the definition. So when you do inertia again, think about the definition. Remember, if you go back here, inertia is right here. Okay, it's just the tendency of something to want to stay in rest or stay in motion. So what other activities had something at rest or something at motion, right? And then all you're going to do is try to explain what the activity was by including the definition of inertia and then using a complete sentence to explain how the trick demonstrated inertia. Okay, so first I started to talk about what the trick was, and I said how the coins were resting on the paper, and then the paper on the cup, and then I said I removed the paper, and I said where the coins went. And look at what I did. I said the coins wanted to stay at rest. So notice how I'm including that. That's something, a key that I would want to see, right? So you're going to do that with another example. Choose any other um, example that you would like that we did in class or that you see here. Okay, then you're going to pick gravity, and I want you to tell me what is gravity in your answer and which one showed gravity. So you're going to have to tell me why a certain thing falling shows gravity. Okay, then the last one was friction. Friction is a little trickier, but you got to think about friction means when surface, surfaces are touching or rubbing together and slowing down motion. So what did you do in class, or what did you see in the videos that involves friction? And then the last one is whatever you feel most comfortable with. Pick another example of inertia or another example of gravity or another example of friction. So overall, you are doing one, two, three, four basic sentences, okay? Um, but remember that you're including the definition. So you might have like two sentences per slide. You want to include the definition, and then you want to tell me and explain that activity, okay? So that's what you're doing today. You're filling out eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Please, 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 if you have trouble getting started or want to do an example with me or need help, watch this video again or jump on Zoom, okay? Have a great day, guys. Turn this in when you're done.